The following is an example of a body spinning around its intermediate axis without any external torques. So there's no control torques or perturbation torques. And in this case, given these initial conditions that this body is mostly spinning around its intermediate or Y axis in this case, with just some small perturbations with the X and Z angular velocities, it exhibits this type of torque free motion, where it seems to look stable at some points around its Y axis, but because it's spinning around its intermediate axis with the small perturbations, it will continue flipping back and forth. Now, if you don't believe this, or you haven't seen this done before, this has actually been done on the International Space Station using a T handle showing this effect, which has has a few different names but basically that is what is happening it's a quasi stable spin because it looks stable for a second but any type of small torque will cause it to flip over and then these are the associated uh, quaternions Euler angles angular velocities and angular momentum that are associated with this type of spin so as you can see here with the angular velocity where you have the spin in the y-axis which is in this case the intermediate axis you see it continue flipping from the positive value whatever it is down to a negative value positive negative and each time it flips over in this graph is when it flips over in the simulation and this angular momentum because it's torque free motion it's actually supposed to be constant so what you're seeing here is numerical error which is another interesting thing that comes from simulating spacecraft attitude control, which is, again, this video is in a sneak peek onto the series that I'm doing with spacecraft attitude control with Python. So make sure that you're keeping up with the numerical method series that I have right now, where I'm going over all the prerequisites in order to understand all these, where there I'm covering reference frames, rotation matrices, principal axis rotations, Euler angles, and quaternions. So once I get through those, I'll actually go ahead and start with the spacecraft attitude control series.